yeah, I feel like a rapper. P D A is the order of the day. A, 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 master on the beat. Hey. Hey guys, my name is Kunda, the face, the voice behind YFMD. If you are returning, honey, welcome back. You know the vibes, and it's good to have you here. Guys, don't mind my face. I had to start my makeup because we're gonna sleep here and have places to go. I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. I have another video to record, so I'm just here to chit chat. Anyway, if you're not subscribed, now is the time to do so. Be sure to turn on that post notification so you are notified each time I upload a video. You do not want to miss a video from me. You do not want to miss a video from me, okay? So, yeah, the last time I did a get ready with me, I actually enjoyed it. It was quite, it was quite lengthy, but I enjoyed it. Though on the nose perspective, those two extremes, the as soon as I saw you doing makeup, I knew I was not gonna watch this video. And there was the I didn't care that you were doing makeup because I wanna hear what you have to say, honey. I wanna hear what you have to say. So be sure to be the latter, gent. Be sure to be the latter. Stay here. Karagil. Grab some coffee. Grab some coffee. Grab some tea. You know, it's cozy out here. And enjoy this video. So I'm gonna be talking about my likes and my dislikes. In Ukraine, in Ukraine, being in Ukraine, my experience, as well as things I have observed being a tourist, like things about yeah, a tourist, a foreigner, things I have observed from Ukrainians. So yeah, let's get right into the video. My first like is that this country is very student friendly in terms of money. I don't know how to say that well, but budget budget friendly, student friendly kind of lifestyle. Yes, 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 yes. Things you need need guys take note things you need are not expensive in my opinion toiletries may be a little bit pricier but food you are going to eat that's one thing you are going to eat and that's what i really like because guys in 25 dollars you're gonna eat something you're gonna eat something reasonable for maybe two weeks three weeks depends on what you eat because you know this can be very subjective people have different lifestyles people enjoy different kinds of food but generally i think the lifestyle is very friendly to students to the kinds of budgets that we have as students you know it's not how we maybe eat in your parents house it's not how you eat here but like you could honestly and i like that the next thing i like is that um i think ukraine is safe Please do not come at me. Maybe this is just uh, my city. I'm currently in Lviv. But why I say it's safe is that you could easily be walking in town center late at night, walking back home in the AMs, and it's safe. Like, you're not worried. You know what I mean? Of course, there's been stories of people getting jumped, people getting stolen from, but generally, that's when the city is the liveliest that's when people are enjoying themselves people are everywhere having fun so it's i think it's safe that's just my opinion that's my opinion so those are the two things that i like about ukraine so on to the dislikes what the first thing i dislike is that they speak ukrainian hear me out guys fine they speak ukrainian i understand it's not an english speaking country and they, they are pardoned but look so you call a taxi yeah and maybe now that your taxi is here and he's trying to tell you that oh i'm here this is where you can find me he speaks ukrainian he's not speaking any english whatsoever and you explain that what he's explaining to you you say yeah narrows me which means i do not understand and then he now goes on to, to still continue speaking Ukrainian. And then now he starts shouting at you in Ukrainian. Like, I, I'm not sure what they can do about that. Maybe learn how to speak English because if they're going to have people come to their country, there's no way public transport is gonna be hectic to get on. You know what I mean? Like, how am I going to tell you that I don't understand? And then he st now starts shouting at me. In that training language that I've told you, I don't understand. Me, I must do what? Honestly, I must do what? That's one thing I really don't like. It is so, so annoying. 
the last time I got into a taxi was like two weeks ago I think yeah and um, I couldn't find this man to start with he did not park where I called him to park he did not come to my location I had to like walk to where he was and even after walking to where it was showing that he was finding him was like really hard i took a really long time to find him and the someone else actually called the taxi for me right oops yeah someone called the taxi for me and i told him you know what finding this person has been hectic but it so happened that as soon as she cancelled the taxi i found the man so like you know what this guy is already here so might as well take him but all this time uh, he's now directing me to where he is guys he was shouting at me like, what am I supposed to do? I've told you Yanni was new and you are still shouting in your language. Like, what are you guys? What are you guys? I think the best thing we can do, okay, quite, quite all right. Even as foreigners, we should learn the Ukrainian. But they have to understand that there's an extent. But sure, even then, there's an extent to second learn English. But I guess that's just what I don't like that it's not English speaking. So, like, that communication huh, is wild. You can learn the language. I did preparatory course, but. I still don't know. Some people already know it well, but like me, no, I don't. That's what I do not like. My second dislike is what's my second dislike? Uh -huh. They are concerned about. They clearly are concerned about inner beauty than outer beauty. Inner beauty is important, yes, but even outer beauty it matters. And I'm not even talking about human beings and how they dress. What I'm talking about is their buildings. I understand that I'm in a, a historical city and they want to keep history and things like that. But okay, when you enter inside buildings, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, you get that I'm abroad vibe. Like, yes, this is it. I'm not in poverty. And outside, like, okay, yes, keep your buildings still like old-fashioned uh, architecture but I don't know paint maybe do some painting give me some Birmingham, Birmingham vibes you know that Europe ancient Europe vibe not like Kumushi Kumushi is the village like my friend had booked an apartment here yeah? guys I at first I had just been seeing this apartment in pictures so when I went there like and we had the right location before I entered the house and we are just two outside like are we at the right location like it just looks so terrible terrible guys terrible is an understatement like terrible like the ghetto like oh my god like inside was beautiful 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 <laughs> I can't even stress how beautiful it was but outer beauty please yeah Ukrainian outer beauty it's also important maybe this just applies to my city I've been to other cities but not like for a long time like to observe like okay okay but enough to see it okay we're not driving around okay of course okay I've been to Kharkov yeah and driving around yeah buildings look some modern modern and then Kiev driven around Kiev and buildings look modern of course my city is ancient or whatever historical whatever the word is but I think they can paint Things I have observed. Things I have observed. PDA is the order of the day. Hey, I feel like a rapper. PDA is the order of the day. Hey, 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 must tell them the beat. Hey. <laughs> anyway, so if you don't know what PDA is, that's public display of affection. So it is beyond hand holding. It goes as deep as being in each other's business, and I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Like, of course, I should be in my own business, but like, ah, hold on, get home. And this is not just like in the streets, even in university buildings. One time, I was seated waiting for a class to start. Yeah, yeah, I was seated waiting for my class to start, and before I knew it, people are making out right beside, the, ah, right beside me. My friends found me there waiting. My class hadn't started. Their class had just finished so they found me they're like ah, what's happening <laughs> what's happening I said, oh my g now i'm just seated here trying to revise for my class and i am being <laughs> blinded so your yeah, public display of affection is the order of the day in my observation second observation is that these women can wear heels you guys imagine gandao in amakoko <laughs> 
that means like imagine you are walking you are you, ah, you do not have a car you're not moving in a car your transportation your mode of transport is land walking and you are in food you guys so, so i think that's why they have very strong calves if you look at their calves here yeah, they are very strong and i think that's why they are in food everywhere everywhere it shocked me but yeah that's i guess a difference in culture or whatever and i haven't i don't know if you guys have seen how the streets are here maybe i'll put like a snap now imagine those streets that's how the land is and join hills you guys Ish, to hitch his horn i mean to eat his horn i mean to eat his horn mm, to eat his horn <laughs> <laughs> to hitch his horn but this is them my third and last observation is um let me finish my makeup and I'll be back. Just guys, so your girl looks cute and whatever. I'm done. I'm ready to be going. I'm just here to share my last observation that I made of Ukrainians is that every Ukrainian smokes. When I say every, I mean every. Only children and patients do not smoke because the situation does not allow them. Otherwise, every Ukrainian smokes. Maybe there's five working class people who do not smoke. Yeah. Now that it's winter. You become a, a passive smoker because everybody is smoking. The smoke in your face, person in front of you is blowing smoke, is coming inside, person behind you, smoke is coming like this. Everywhere there's just smoke. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have to get running, I'm behind time. So yeah, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you're in Ukraine, share your likes and dislikes, which one of mine you relate to. And if you're elsewhere i hope you learned something about ukraine so yeah thank you so much for watching till the end i'll see you guys in my next video bye